Let's get talking, GT. Yeah, this let's is get uh, restore. No, this is not the restore. This is inside, inside GT, GT talk, talk. Brought to you by RestoreGT.com. And uh, this one here, we don't uh, we don't bore you with council meeting stuff. We just go over the we junk just, on. We just check Facebook out some of the social, social media. media. What's going on in Gloucester Township on and off social media? It is a riot sometimes. It's man. If you follow any of the, there's so many Gloucester Township talk pages. Yeah. But if you follow any of them, it's usually I, the same content. It's. <laughs> You know, with snow plowing or you know whatever yeah, else is yeah, well, yeah. going on. Well, in all it's of them. I mean, it's it's the cheesesteaks. Yep. At, cheesesteaks get me, man. Cheesesteaks. Nothing irritates wings, me more. Cheesesteaks. Then you can yeah. Pizza. Who's got best? Who's got good wings around here? Who's got who's got good cheesesteaks or who's got good pizza? Yeah. You're in New Jersey. It's good everywhere. Them wings, all right, wings are hit or miss, right? And pizza, somebody somewhere screws up pizza. But yeah. for the most part, well, if you ask, and I, and, I, and I saw this the other day, who's got good, who's got really good cheesesteaks around here? You know what happens? 200 people answer with a place that sells cheesesteaks. Yeah. Not a place that they went to, it was like, these are the greatest cheesesteaks. Like, Cleavers in Philadelphia, Center City. Those cheesesteaks are mind-blowing, <laughs> right? But the place around the corner, eh. Right. But you know what? I order from the place around the corner because... I'm not going I, to Center City. Because I can drive around the corner and get them. Yeah. So that's, that's the cheesesteak that I eat all the time. But I'm not. But I. But I, but I see that post, and I'm like, I'm not going to answer. Yeah. Because I don't have anything local that's mind blowing. But everybody else just answers with the place that's next door to them. Drives yeah. me insane. So. That is a. Uh, you. You definitely do not like that question. I hate it. I hate it. Always bring. Plus, it up. on top of it, look. Somebody asked that question yesterday. Most of the time, anything that comes up. Somebody asked for a recommendation. It's like I saw that earlier this week. Yeah, you can search for it and find it. There's a little magnifying glass thing. You yeah, click yeah. That. You could put in keyword right of inside cheesesteak. Hit it. Or, uh, cheesesteak. I'm looking for. Let me see. I'm looking for a plumber. Cake. Let me use the word plumber, plumber in that one and just okay. Oh, look at that. There's a list hey. of 18 different plumbers and their experience with them. Oh, a dentist. You need. Oh, let me type that word. Oh, in I there. need my vents cleaned. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh god. <laughs> anyway, all right, let's oh, get into yeah. uh so some of the snagged a couple things. This is basically this is even this isn't even inside GT Talk this week. This yeah, is inside we, GT Talk since like out of touch for a little bit here mm. with the holidays and New Year and uh some uh remodeling and whatnot, but we're um going back a little ways on this one with the Popeyes. Oh, yeah, well, the first thing room. before before the before even Popeyes popped up, there oh, was there was, there was a zoning board meeting about uh, a marijuana facility oh. right by right by the the Wawa on Sickleville Road. Kind of is that the new one, like by the firehouse? Yeah, I guess it's gonna be. Well, it's so I guess it's the guy that owns Valaris apparently is gonna is proposed putting a, a dispensary over. Kind that's, of, that's a button that gets people fired up. Man, it just gets for and against. It's crazy. People, yeah, people, people are so for and against. And I just, I love, I love going to the comment section because it's kind of like, I don't know, I'm, I'm just on the fence about it, and I just, I love, see, I, I, I love seeing both sides and about how so many people are just, it's, it means so much to them. It means so much to some people to be able to get high. And it means so much to other people that you should never feel good about anything. Yeah. So it just... Um, <clears throat> but that was... Uh, yeah, and, and, the, and the person, the person that, that wrote it, they were like, enough is enough. Yeah. But, and like, I, didn't, I didn't say one thing or the other. I just literally said, there's the date of the meeting. I didn't say one way or the other. You could go there and... Before it, 
You can go there and eat against it. That's your right as a, you know. Yeah. So I'm just letting you know what's happening. That's all. You yeah. can go do whatever here, you here want. Here it is. And it's just, man, people just, uh, yeah. Oh, they freak out. They, they freaked out about it. But this this one over here, I think I think you tagged me on this one. And you were like, podcast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this one here. This this person. This was a disturbing one. I mean, it, it this, was. Go ahead. This what was. was this? This, this was. And, and I'll read the whole thing. It says, a friend and I went to Popeye's Chicken and Biscuits on Blackwood Clementon Road last night. Of course, I had coupons. We placed our order and paid for our meals. I noticed that the receipt was incorrect by 50 cents. Not a big deal. When we were leaving, I asked the cashier, who was just standing there, what was the 50 cent upcharge for? All of a sudden, three male employees came up and asked, what's the problem? I said, nothing. I just wanted to know what the upcharge. The male employee started yelling and screaming at us, reading, what the F? Read the effing fine print. Get the F out. I honestly was only asking about the upcharge. I didn't want my money back. I asked a question. These thugs were ready to fight me and my friend. What is wrong with people? When I when I would occasionally go there years ago, the manager was kind Indian man that would always say to me, always say, always say to me, it's nice to see you, miss. This is always this place is always busy. It was dead at six PM. I will never go there again. Please be careful going there. I don't want this to happen to someone else. And this got hundreds of comments. I I I read that like three times because I'm like, all right, what does she not want to happen to someone else? The screaming, the upcharge, the 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 Indian guy saying he misses her. Like I don't know I, what man. So I don't know what was going on with it, but people were going without any knowledge of what this is. And I, I'm I don't know a, a person that I'm like friends with on Facebook made a comment on here so you know when you see a um a post in the comments it usually will have like oh yeah just you know it only shows you a couple yep. and it's like a, a comment that your friend made kind of thing so their comment was like i'm a hundred percent sure that the receipt said what the 50 cent upcharge was for i saw it yeah and i, I like yeah, i'm yeah. like yeah it's of course it did like what and they literally say that in the post read the effing five print so the the employees there know it says it right on the thing why are you questioning you know what this is whether they flipped out or not, that's a whole... I don't know. This whole thing was just... I, it was bizarre. I, yeah, I, my first reaction was, we have to send Keith there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to go there with the microphone <laughs> and order something and see if there's an upcharge. Yeah. And if there's an upcharge, he's got to ask him, what's the upcharge for? Yeah, right. And then I'm not doing that. She's, she's so like calling So you think you thugs. might get beat up I'm like, there, huh? <laughs> okay, these... <laughs> Poor employees. I, I don't know. I why? Well, yeah, I just uh, man. So the and the comments were the comments were all over the place. Yeah, there was like there was oh, some, there was of the some people. racist comments being you know said in here. It was it was not a yes, good post. Yes, yes, like, they were really they were really. Bad I can't comments believe these people. Place. I don't know. It's I. It's like I just man. I just I just think. I like I, I legitimately wanted to go there and see. Are they charging fifty cent? Was there an up? Is a fifty cent upcharge for something? Hey, maybe, maybe it's like, uh, remember, remember Office Space? Yeah. You know, remember where they were like, like oh, he was, the, he was the, funneling off a little bit of money, cents, like yeah. a little bit of money, right? And then, like, next thing you know, there were millions of dollars. And that's my, my mind went there, like, what if they're taking 50 cents from every customer and there's some rich guy somewhere now? Yeah. Like, oh, we've got to investigate this. But also at the same time, I'm just like, what if it just says on the thing? Right. Well, like, credit card surcharge like I, I noticed maybe you got a bottle of water instead of the soda that came with the meal and they charge you it, it could be a hundred different things maybe if you pay with your car they just charge you 50 cents extra because it's a processing fee right whatever for the credit card so yeah but man the comments went everywhere they went all over the place it was like oh talking they were talking about it being the ghetto and you know and the yeah the people that go there it just it was yeah the customers Bizarre. were yeah, like, yeah, customers like go there at ghetto, and I was like, wait, I think they have great chicken sandwiches. <laughs> Am I the ghetto now? I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, I, it was a really kind of disgusting. This is this is not just not a good look on on Gloucester Township. Yeah. And uh, man, just uh, I don't know made me feel kind of uncomfortable but at the same time i was like you know what it's good podcast stuff yeah right 
<laughs> the next it's one. It's been so long since I read that was like probably over a month ago. That was like happened in December. That was, yeah. That, that was, that I don't even remember. That was, Way better things in my life to think I don't, about than that. I, yeah, so I, don't I don't know every what detail happened. of it, but I, I just remember if... being like, "Holy wow, these people live around here that are so racist." And then there's con- just it was a, it was nuts. Yeah. So a- another one. Uh, but hey, this is oh by, here's uh, me. This what is that Keith Givens? If you've ever thought about getting involved in the community and or lending a helping hand for those less fortunate, you should consider joining the Gloucester Township Pine Hill Rotary Club. Maybe this could be a New Year's resolution that you didn't plan, didn't plan on making. There are weekly meetings at the Lampost Diner on Wednesdays at noon with lunch served. If you are interested and don't feel comfortable just wandering in, reach out to me and you can be my guest for a free lunch. Hope to see some new faces. Yeah. So, so that what? was like a New Year's next day or something. Like it was, you know, right at New Year's. Like a lot of times people are in the mood of like, hey, I'm going to do something nice this year for somebody else or. I'm gonna lose weight or whatever. So those around New Year's resolution things. I'm like, yeah. hey, you know what? What a what a better time than now to just make a post that maybe I can get some people out. And actually, it did draw a few people. I had, uh, I think it was four people reached out. One actually showed up. Um, the others I've still been in contact with. So it did get some, you know, a little bit of um, reaction, which is good. I'm part of that I, rotary, and um, yeah. So I I screen clipped this because I was because I, I I legitimately thought you know like. I I don't think I don't think a lot of people know exactly what the rotary is. Yeah, uh, there was someone who asked a question in there, and I kind of answered it. And basically, it was um, just a group of people who all you know feel like giving back in whatever way they can. You can do more as a group than you can as an individual. Sometimes. Not everybody has the same skill sets, um, so you know maybe somebody that's really good at doing whatever a cleanup is not as good at coordinating a bingo to raise funds to you know okay. put back in. Somebody else has time during the daytime to uh, go shopping for food to put into pantry boxes, and, and somebody else doesn't, but they have the ability to whatever it is, cut coupons to help pay, you know, or write a grant to find, you know, so there's, it's a whole group of okay. people that all kind of work together and we collectively come up with what, um, you know, good that we can do with the money that we raise to help people that are in our local community and, you know, kind of abroad too. There's other, you know, further away things, but we try to keep the, you know, the money, um, into our community and put back in our community. Is there any kind of requirement? So, like, if you none, no, no. So, like, if if you could go, but maybe like, maybe you've got like one weekend a month where you, you could go shopping for you know some for some pantry stuff. Yeah. Uh, is, that, is that like is that enough or? Yeah, you, I mean, you could do whatever. Like, there's um, I don't want to sound like negative in this, like, but there's um. A lot of older people that mm-hmm. um, are part of the Rotary because they meet at Wednesdays at lunchtime. They're retired, Not yeah. many younger people have the ability yeah. to go do that because they're usually, like, you know, working a, a job or something like that. I'm, you know, semi-retired and, and able to do that, so I'm old, you know, <laughs> at this point here. Um, I uh, have, you know, have that ability, but not a lot of younger, you know, people... Um, well, like I just said. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's tough to get um, younger faces that help move things into a more, you know, day in, today's day okay. and age kind of, you know, thing. But what was your original question? I forget. Oh, yeah. So the one day. We, so there's the, the, the way that the club, you know, works is we kind of all pay dues. With those dues, you get, you know, you're paying for lunch and then you're also paying in to, you know, be part of the, um, the club. So you don't necessarily need to be part of the club to come do something that they're doing fundraising. Like there's like the bingo thing coming up, for instance, we have a designer handbag bingo coming up in February. So a bunch of, you know, we're selling tickets for it. So you can support the rotary by just buying a ticket and coming out and you can actually win, you know, prizes, but it's, we're raising money to, you know, to give it back into the community. So you could do that. Or we have like a cleanup at a Gabriel Gabriel, Gabriel Davies Tavern. So that was a tongue twister. (laughs) Um, you know, th- those happen randomly, so somebody could show up to that. We have on Earth Day, um, the one I started a couple years back at on Pharaoh's Run, um, so now that's a rotary event, and the 
clean up there. Anybody could come to it. So we'll, we can invite people from the community to come do it. Not a lot of people tend to, hmm. you know, to show up. But we do have a lot of uh, interaction from the, the kids in the high schools who there's a part of the program that's trying to help, you know, teach youth um, about service to, okay. you know, you know do, do good in your community. So they get credits towards college and things like that that they're able to, um, you know, come out and whether it's helping stuff bags for Thanksgiving um you know, meals that were given out or something like that. So they can show up and they help or they do cleanups and, and other things like that. And then there's programs that we have the youth go to. It's a program called RILA. It's like a Rotary Youth Leadership Academy, I think it's what it stands for. But um, all the kids that go to it say it's like one of the best things that they've ever done. And they go, you know, so it's, it's a local oh. thing where they go to a, I don't know if it's Stockton or it's a local, you know, college. And then they, they have these like little, trips that they go to and, and learn about leadership, okay. which helps them, you know, be leaders as a, you know, as an adult. So it's, it's good in a lot of different ways. And, uh, a lot of people don't know what it is. And I, I joke around and say, I still don't know what it is, but it's just, you don't, you don't, there's no set thing yeah. that we do. We, as a group say, how can we, you know what I mean? So based off of who wants to get involved in something, you could do something, you know, so there's no really one thing that they do. It's just service above self whatever that means to the group of people in your rotary that oh okay you know, so that's about how many good. people usually show up on 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 a on a wednesday at uh lunch uh off the top of my head i don't know if i maybe like 15 people something oh, okay like that. all right so it's but, not i mean there's others people. that are like you know 70 and stuff like so depending okay. on where you are but ours is not very big excellent um, so if they uh if anybody is interested in that what's uh Show up on uh, uh, Wednesdays at noon at the uh, Lamp Post Diner. Just show up. I guess look for you. Just come in the back in the back room. They have you know Lamp Post has that middle room and then like the back room. Okay. So it's, are you like far away the in the back back? Yeah. Where, where they kind of reserve it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Excellent. All right. Oh, and this the next one. The next one up here is. Uh, oh, this is a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Need boat storage for the winter and don't know where to keep your food truck? Have a trailer not in use or maybe a chicken coop on wheels. Storage available. <laughs> so I saw this. This this was great because I saw this was over like this was over the holidays. It was kind of like after we did our last podcast for the at the end of the year. Yeah. And uh, I'm 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 like I'm, I'm a YouTube junkie, man. So I right. got YouTube on the TV in the living room, and I'm sitting down at night, and it said. And I saw, and I saw the familiar, saw my face again. Yeah, well, it was this familiar, familiar parking lot. And I was like, let's restore GT. <laughs> okay. And, it's safe, and, and my wife loves the content, but loves your, she doesn't watch anything with me in it, but yeah. she loves your content. Nice. And she's like, okay, click on that. So we clicked on it. And I'm like, look at all this stuff parked in this parking lot over yep. here, over at, what's it? Valley Brook, right? Yeah. Valley Brook. So it's like box trucks. Dude, it's, it's insane. I've gone back because so I, I do golf leagues and there's like a uh, Wednesdays. Usually I go to Valley Brook and I cut in that street every day. And the same things are always parked there. And I drive around I'm like, what is that? Chicken coop? Like every time I go by, I'm like, is that a chicken coop? Yeah. The thing hasn't moved in like three years. Then there's a boat parked in there. And then there's food trucks with flat tires. And then there's box trucks. And then there's so. I don't, just one day, I just got <laughs> irritated about something else, and you know how I just something gets in my head, and I'm like, ah. So then I go after I did that, and I'm like, I'm such a Karen. I really like, but no, there was know, somebody I mean, that came by while I was there, um, and they're like, what, "Are you filming all this? You know, this stuff over here?" And so I started talking to them, and they're like, "I live over here," and I'm like, "Yeah, that's my point. Like, somebody has to look out this window and see this." Even if your name, if you okay, I, I understand and I get it. Like people need to make a living, you know, whatever. But you didn't. Maybe you didn't need to drive your truck home from work. Like maybe the truck could stay at the warehouse, or yeah, I don't know. There's there's got to be yeah, somewhere else like, that you could keep it. If the truck has dirt built up around the tires, yeah, and and there's an and there's an oil spot underneath of it this big, which you pointed out, like, right? Like these trucks have been there so long, yeah, that there's like. The, the pavement is discolored around them, so it, it was it's kind of crazy. Well, that the, uh, there's a, uh, I guess an ordinance or whatever. So the Valley Brook is a what right. do they call what's the homeowners association? What's that called? It's like an HOA. 
Yeah, I, I'm yeah. assuming. That yeah. Like, yeah, something like that. It's a community. So there's somebody's in charge of it, and they're saying, well, you're not allowed to park that at our house. Okay. Well, if that's a public park that also has ordinances around what you can and can't park there. And I'm pretty sure you can't park your boat over, you know, on public property. Just par- pull up. A- We've sat through meetings. We've sat through meetings where they talk about overnight uh-huh. parking. Yeah. For, for, the, for public parking lots. And then here you go. Here's a public parking lot that has box trucks and chicken coops yeah. and lunch trucks and a boat. Well, and so then, then somebody uh, somebody yeah, started yeah, yelling somebody about like those are these people are commuting to work back and forth and in a you, boat. You comment <laughs> back like <laughs> I can't wait to see the guy in a boat commute back yeah, and forth this week in a boat. Yeah. So, <sighs> but, yeah, I don't. I mean, I, I don't know what my purpose of doing that was other than it just was irritating to see like if why do why are some rules enforced for some things and some rules are not forced for others there's always that person that has to that there's always there's always that a person that has to come out and 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 give that you know there's there's the person that's like those people have to those people are driving them to work yeah you know it was today 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 i got, I got called out by a family member today your family, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. my yeah, my family member. So there's there's a meme, a meme. I was an NFL meme that I just that I reshared, uh. and it was it was a big pie chart, and it's a tiny little sliver, right? Uh. The whole thing was, the whole thing was purple, and there was just a little sliver of gold, and it said, and the little sliver of gold was, uh, Ravens fans, and it was the a- the AFC game. Okay. Ravens fans want the Ravens to win. And then the rest of the pie chart was the rest of the country that was doesn't want to see Taylor Swift ruin the Super Bowl. Uh, <laughs> right? And it was in a, so I reshared it. Right. right. And and I, I you know, I got that family member. Yeah. It's like, why is Taylor Swift gonna ruin the Super Bowl? <laughs> and I was like, it's a funny joke. Right. And everybody got it. Like ever like all, all the people that were they were there clicking on it and they yeah. and they like it. And they get the one, and you know, and then the one, and then another family member goes, "Is it because she's a woman?" And I was like, "And and, and the yes," I, and it, it didn't respond, and I I was just like, "I just want to delete it now. I just wanted to make it go away because yeah. all because all my friends that were like that the, the little laugh icon, they liked it, but you just made it really shitty." Yeah. So, yeah. So I just. Well, yeah. I mean, woman, look, yeah. you get those. This woman, like you, you get like, those people. There was somebody like on the YouTube thing that somebody was like, "Oh, he needs to go to life," and I'm like, "You know what? You're right. I do, but I, I don't really care what you have to say." Yeah. Hey, sorry you're doing a nine to five today, buddy. But I can drive around looking at boats because right. I have other things going on. <laughs> <It's> nuts. <laughs> Oh, this is... Uh, what was this one here? This is... Uh, oh, oh, this is... Electrical. This, this is the... Uh, power lines or whatever they're called. This, this, is, this is the topic here. This is the topic of the of the century here. Uh, what the H is going on on Williamstown Road in Sickleville? Can't get an answer from GT Township. Huge black ugly towers loc- placed on properties as well as on the road. Talk about ugly... Someone told me there's another piece that goes on the tower, making it even taller. They told me to call the county. I'm sure they know what's going on. We pay enough taxes here that we should not look at these eyesores. So it's these big tower yeah, is that, things. So are there are power lines to that right now. Is that what that? No, that's actually the power lines are actually in front of it. This is this is it's okay. quite quite a few feet behind it, but. So with the, these other, I've seen a couple other pictures too, and it looks like the um, fences are taken down. Like you were talking about. Yeah. That. So yeah. So th- that's the crazy part is, is they 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 took down, they took down the like the fence, yeah. that person's fence, and they they smashed his pole right in the middle here, but, and this is all over. This is like all over the place. Right. This isn't just one isolated <laughs> incident. These are going up and down the entire street. Yeah, so these are these are down uh, Williamstown Aero Road, which runs behind the Target, um, where the old Nike base was. Hmm. Uh, and yeah, might been. <clears throat> it's funny because I, I saw I saw this post a couple of days ago, and then I saw um, yeah because this was this was the twenty fourth. So yeah, two two days ago. I didn't read a lot of the comments on here, but I did see people talking about like, "Hey, idiot! All these electric cars. What do you think needs to happen? Our grid is, you know, uh, 
outdated and like but just people hammering other people like what do you what do you think supposed to happen yeah i, I didn't mean, really see uh anybody for it or or i i'm gonna say for it but um well i mean look i mean look think, i guess they were think it, about it i mean when you think about everything that we have here that that involves power and, and you look at the pole and you're like look this this scrawny little wooden pole that's been here for forever yeah Look, it's 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 kind of an outdated technology, and unfortunately, this big thing that comes next to it here, it's, it's gonna have to replace it. And you know, you've got you've got the government's pushing electric all electric cars by twenty was it twenty thirty five? I don't know. It's, or, it's, it's fairly soon though. I mean, time flies. You know, it's twenty twenty thirty five. It might be like where they're you they're. The, the ban the sale of gasoline cars. I don't see. Which that I mean, really I don't. Anything. I know. I don't. <laughs> It'll be a cause that they fight for. It'll be, the, the government never fixes anything, Joe. They just they champion something. No, they get we, we, it you and, saw. I mean, you saw that. You saw the dead robots uh, videos that were going around with all the Teslas that were frozen and yeah. nobody could charge them and they wouldn't hold charge because it was too cold. Yeah, it's probably not going to happen. But either way. Either way, just think about the technology that we have in our houses now, and with what the electric going on. So look, the little scrawny poles that are that are aging, and I mean, wood doesn't last forever when you stick it out in the in the, in the weather. So no. we've got to replace it with something. It kind of sucks though that it's gone through the back of their yards, but I I mean I would imagine that the county's going to come in and replace that person's fence. And this is I don't know. I mean, that's what I was wondering. Like, I, it's. Um, there, there, every bit of this, you know, if, if you say you have a, well, everyone that has a property, like, so you see the, in this picture here, there's the sidewalk and then there's yeah. like whatever that governor strip, even if you don't have a sidewalk, there's a public easement that's a few feet onto your property, right? But yeah. that's from the pictures of it anyway, seem to be way further back than where the, um, the pole is, um, uh, the wooden pole I'm talking about. So it's kind of like a. How far back is that? And then you're like, well, I don't know. Your fence is supposed to be put on your property line. So if you're taking your fence down to put this pole up, are you now on my property? And did was that taken through some sort of a it, it uh, actually, eminent I mean, domain? Like, I don't know. I have no idea what's going on with this stuff. It, it does. It does kind of seem like. I mean, if you if you if you look at if you look at it, it, there there appears to be. I mean, and this is all the way down the road too. So this is this is this this picture I believe was on I think this is on Williamstown Aero Road, but if you go to if you go down Williamstown Aero Road, which is what is what's that school right there on there by the Target? Is that Lily? Yeah. Yeah. So this is like basically like kind of across the street from Lily, um, all the way down the street, all the way all the way to Ariel. There's there's people's fences were removed and these things were put in, so it's I. It's definitely on their properties. This is, I mean, all. It's not like this is not like one person had their fence back too far. Yeah. This is all the people all well, the way down. I said it to you. There's another. I think it's is it on Hickstown Road where they, there there was poles I years ago. I just remember years ago. This yeah. Sort of the similar thing. People are like, what the? Heck? Look at these. Oh my God! Look at this. And now you don't even notice them you know, when you drive by, but no, you've you seen it so many times. But if that was in your front yard or your backyard, I bet you those people that still live there with those poles on Hickstown or whatever that road was, they see them, they recognize them, even though we they just yeah. blend into us. But I don't know. If, and, and also, wait, I don't know if this is the finished product. I don't know. It looks like the smokestack from like the Titanic or something. Like a ship. Uh, you know what I mean? A, that I would know, be pretty cool, actually. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but I, but I paint them out of something. I don't know. It. This is probably not the finished product. I mean, I mean they're going to be much taller. And they're they're going to put other sections oh, on top great. of them. But my they're question really was tall. like, hey, what if what if you run into one? <laughs> I mean, if you if you run into a little skinny pole there, it just smashes your car up. But the pole usually breaks. What if you run into one of these things, man? What happens? Car breaks. It just stands there, and the car just breaks. Yeah, you're just. Yeah. So that's people are people are freaking out on there, and I, you know, what the funny part was, so somebody posted this days ago, and then that was another I, one. Right? I, well, no, there's been several, yeah. been a lot. 
and I like I went to Lowe's after 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 I saw this thing. I went to Lowe's and I and I saw all these things. I was like, oh wow, there's a, there's a ton of these things. <laughs> Bam. And uh, you know, but immediately I thought that that's what they're talking about. And then I you know come back and you get on Facebook and there's another post. What the hell are these <laughs> things going in here? And then there's another one. What are these things on here? So there's all these different people taking all these different pictures of them. Yeah. And they're all, and I was like, you couldn't scroll a little bit? Right. And then. But right on a post instantly. And, there's no one else has ever posted this before. I know and, it. And and then today. Only one. Today. Today my wife goes, I, she, she leaves for lunch. And she goes to pick up, she went to, she's really the shop right home, uh, shop from home order. Mm. She goes to pick it up and she sends me these pictures. She goes, what are these monstrosities going up in here? And I was like, you're on all the same things yeah. that I'm on. Yeah. <laughs> Did you not see them? But yes, they are. Uh, we are. We are getting infrastructure upgrades. And oh, the thing that got me with this one too yeah. was the last thing that somebody said here. We pay enough in taxes oh, yeah. to not have to look at these eyesores. And my thought was. Do you we, know how all this works? <laughs> we do not pay extra taxes so that we don't have to look at these things. Right. We are not paying extra taxes for premium services <laughs> to where everything has to be beautiful. We pay extra taxes because we suck at voting. Yeah. That's basically what it comes down to. We pay extra taxes because we let them do whatever we want them to do. <laughs> so, don't act like you're paying extra in taxes to get something beautiful. You're not. You're going to pay what they tell you to pay because you elected them. And when they say, hey, we're going to put this big black rod in your backyard, you're going to like it. It's not the it's not the township doing that though. The township doesn't run the public utility. Of, I'm not even talking about township. What? This goes all the way up to the state level. All right. This entire state is known nationally because we're suckers here. Yeah. So suck. that's yeah, that's I mean that's 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 the that's the and, and speaking of Oh, this was a good one here. This, yeah. this, this is a good one here. So, this, this just happens warming to warming their car up in Blackwood. This is like, it's like a person warming their car up here, and this guy just drives by, and he's like, "Oh, sh this car is running. No one's in it. I'm gonna go check out what's going on here." They get out, I'm like, "Hey, I wonder if this guy's." I ah, locked it. And then they just get in, they take off. But I, what I can't tell is, is that a, like a camera? Or was somebody filming it from in the well, house? Well, that's, that's, so there's somebody, somebody, no, it's a, it's a front door camera, but then it's somebody's holding the camera up to their monitor. So that's uh, what it okay. is. It, yeah, yeah it, I was wondering yeah. Where, how the shaking was going on yeah. and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes it, sense. Yeah, because if you're standing at your window and you're filming at your right. window, they're putting hey, it on their phone. Hey, look at that guy getting ready to steal my car. Right, that's what I'm wondering. Yeah, yeah, no, that's not what happened. But uh, that makes more sense now. Yeah, it's cra I don't, man, it's crazy. It. Uh, this what do people like, have to uh, say about this one? I didn't even see this. I actually I didn't read a whole lot of the the Runnymede Chamber of Commerce one to know if he can make it charitable. But uh, this happened in this was in Blackwood Estates, um, but it's just I don't know, man. It's uh, I don't. It's one of those things, man. I just it's kind of scary to it's, think. Well, it's, it's man, it's Gloucester Township, and it's what it, it's it, it's what it's it's what it's become. It's. Yeah. I I don't know I I was at a couple weeks ago out where I used to live out in Pennsylvania and uh, I just my wife was like I miss it out here you know it's just so nicer friendlier 
Is and, it because uh, it's quieter? Like there's not a lot of hustle and bustle, or what's the yeah, but, yeah, nice there's that part mean? Like what is that? No, uh, look, there's no crime. There was no crime. Or we, like, we didn't have police. That's bizarre. Le- legitimately, <laughs> like legitimately, the police, the police in our we had we had like two cops in our town, and then in our township, they went offline at six p.m. Hmm. And then after that, you were up. It was state police who were forty five minutes away, and there there just was no crime. Yeah. And you you could leave you could leave your house unlocked you could leave your car unlocked. Here I can't leave my car locked in my driveway. In your garage. <laughs> like my car is in my garage, where it's safe. I would never leave my car outside my garage here. And it's just man, it's just I don't know. I. It's I. It's not and it's not something new either, because honestly, before I before I moved far away, I lived in Clementon. And in Clement between between Pine Hill and Clementon, I had two cars and a motorcycle stolen. So it's just I don't know, man. It's just yeah. I mean, it can happen anywhere. I don't know. It's uh, it's a shame. It's it, it's it's a shame. I, I mean, I, I guess it's I guess it's because we're you know we're we're we're, we're close to the city and. Yeah, it was so the other day. Um, so the the police here in town were doing a um, sock drive, and we had, as the Rotary had, um, purchased a whole bunch of socks, like two hundred something pairs of socks to donate to them. So they came and were thanking you know thanking us, and then we we're eating uh, eating lunch. So I was sitting with the three uh, police officers that came, and I was just asking them about uh, what what are some of the big things. You know that you guys are dealing with in town. Yeah. They're they're from the community relations um, part of okay the police department, right? And that community relations, um, the idea behind it is it's proactively like getting involved with things instead of react reacting to crime. It's kind of preventing crime through community involvement, yeah. kind of thing. So it's a, you know it's a it's an uh, interesting way of you know handling things. But they were talking about recently a a car theft ring which was like an initiation it was like from delaware or something like that there were it was like an initiation to a you know to be from a gang and this our area was a target because of the easy access we have to the highways and stuff like that so yes. they can just come right in blackwood estates if you think of like i can almost picture exactly where that um that turn is where that you know, I was person's thinking the house same was thing, yeah if you got off of Route 42 right there, you could get off where that whole. Remember where I had the uh, the video with the lights and all that. That's, if you got mm-hmm. off right there, made a left right down State yep. or is it got State Street? But you you could go right into that neighborhood right there, steal a car, get right back out of the highway, and you're now you're on 42 heading towards like Philadelphia, Camden that way, 55. You know, so you could easily steal a a a, a vehicle and get back on a highway and out of. You know, what I mean? as as easy as it is, is for us to promote, like, oh yeah, you can live here. It's easy access to the highways and whatnot. It's a bedroom community. How we always talk about, like, people live here because it's easy access. Same thing. It's easy for crime. You know, they, I remember. So my my um, parents live in uh, Cinnaminson right now, and they hmm. uh, they had well, Riverton is kind of part of Cinnaminson. I don't know how mm-hmm. to describe it, but they're they're. Uh, there's a uh, what do you call it? a light rail line. So the light rail line cut through. It starts in Camden at the uh, amphitheater, okay, and it goes all the way up to Trenton to the state building. And along that path, it was just a you know railroad track that was I guess a Conrail rail, whatever it was. But when that rail went in, people were up in arms over like, oh my god, it's gonna bring in so much crime from you know from the cities and and whatnot. And it did. It brought in a lot of, and it became known as the drug train. Like it was just <laughs> a. People take the train to go get drugs and go, you know. But it brought it, it brought easy access for, you know, for people. And I'm wondering if that's part of like what is part of this whole thing. Is it's not a Gloucester Township problem as far as residents and other things. It's outside access to it is what I'm yeah. trying to say. That was a really long winded way to say no, it. But do you understand what I'm saying? Like it's not a yeah, because that's what is it our is it it's not our residents. It's not our. Uh, people who are having the or 
causing the problem. We're a victim of it because of our no. Uh, geographic yeah, I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't think it's Gloucester Township residents at all because when they when they catch a lot of these people, you know, a lot of the, the porch pirates, they they were they were Pennsylvania. They were Pennsylvania right. folks. Right. And it's and you know like like one of my cars when it was stolen, that went up in Camden. Uh, when, when my motorcycle got stolen, that was kind of like that was a theft ring that they think was probably out of Trenton at the same time. Um, luckily, two of my cars were recovered. My motorcycle never was, and I ate the cost of that. But um, it just it's all it, it's generally outside of here that it happens, but it's because we're so accessible. Right. Somebody told me like the Rite Aid on Blackwell Clementon Road. Is robbed regularly, really? Because yeah, because they then they get they get it, and they get right on they get right on forty two, and they're gone. And that was kind of you know that was kind of the argument that a lot of people made too about like the dispensaries over at like uh, Skeeters and stuff. Yeah, or over by over that area. I think you're, you're gonna you're gonna put something in there. The, the the crime that comes in and out of that area that just gets right on forty two. Like that, that place doesn't. It's not going to stand a chance. Yeah. But yeah, it it is. Well, we had that discussion with uh, when Sam was here that day with the you know talk about the free market is kind of going to yeah. kind of dictate that. So if that place continues to get robbed and robbed and robbed, they're obviously going to close down yeah, or do something else. Go so. somewhere else that's probably not close but to forty two. It's um, act. Access or accessibility to the you know to this area, I think, is more of a problem than it is you know the the people we live with. Yeah, know. it's a convenient yeah. place to live. If you've got if you if you've got a commute, it's a it's a really great place to live because if you've if you it's exactly why I'm here. My job when I moved back to this area was in Center City, Philadelphia, and I needed to get on the, the speed line to get on the train. Um, so this was this was the best spot for it. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it, it and a lot of people I know still work in Center City. It's a and it's a good spot to live, so that you can still commute to Center City, but you're not in Haddonfield or any of the more super expensive areas or something like that. Well, we're getting there though. That's the problem is when our taxes are going up and it's becoming super expensive. <laughs> yeah, our housing values aren't, but our taxes, our, yeah. our taxes, our taxes are. So that's uh yeah. I guess I mean I guess I guess that's the downside. But it is, it is, it's something. It is so. It's just something that, that's always bugged me here. Yeah. Is that it's uh, <coughs> we're kind. Of, I, I just kind of, kind of feel like we're under attack by the other surrounding areas. Yeah. But uh, anything else going on? I, I mean, on social media, I haven't really been on. I've been busy with my own other stuff. But um, no, I mean, I don't know uh, else. things going on. Yeah, since the last Inside GG talk, I mean, Christmas has happened. New Year's? Did you do anything for New Year's? I don't remember. I did I? I don't. Uh, there even... was a concert. I, I, uh, yeah, I didn't really do much. I don't think no. We we didn't do uh, we didn't we, we didn't do anything. We thought about going to different places for New Year's, and it just wound up kind of being uh, I don't know, like one of the places that we had gone before. You know, they do the big like it's a wedding venue basically. Right. But they like raised the price by some ridiculous amount. And we're like, yeah, I don't. Well, I mean, it was all right. It was all right at the time when we went, but it was kind of like it's not that all right. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> so yeah, we just we just we just I don't like know, that much. We just, yeah, we stayed home. I think we stayed home. I think we had some. You know, we we bought some. We bought some food. We had made some. We made some stuff. And uh, yeah, Christmas wise, man, what I say the normal the normal family comes and goes, and and then. Uh, that was yeah, that was kind of it, man. It's just yeah, pretty uneventful holiday. I have nothing to add. I've been busy with other stuff. My daughter does um, like uh, volleyball, and it's like regional or national, I guess you call it. So I'm traveling all the time for um, for that. So uh, is that something new? Like like kid uh, stuff? Oh my no, god! No, like they, like kids like yeah, I. I See, I remember, you know, you know, like back back when I played, like, baseball back in you know seventh, eighth grade, ninth grade, something like that. Um, you know, we traveled a, like like 
No, I know what you're saying. There's no such thing anymore. It's just like a PAL like, league, I, or like a police athletic league, or like a something it's local. Crazy it's crazy like, because all right, but we might and like the travel team or something would be like, all right, we're gonna travel to like Marlton or something like. Yeah. No, no, I have to go to Boston, or I to, I'm in Washington, D.C., or I have to go to Puerto Rico. It's like, yeah, my, why do my, I have to travel this far for a kid's... Occasionally, you know, my, my buddy that lives in Pittsburgh is like, hey, I'm going to be out at Egg Harbor Township, and I'll go down and hang out with him while his kid plays in Egg Harbor Township. Yeah. And I'm like... That's a six-hour, five-and-a-half-hour drive. What are you doing out here? And he's yeah. like, oh, yeah, we go everywhere. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Yeah, I don't know when that all, like... Local stuff, kind of. I mean, I shouldn't say that. Like, there are there are certain sports, I guess, that are still local. Like, we have these turf fields, and people, but people from out of town travel to our turf fields, right? They and, better, yeah. <laughs> They're freaking them up, yeah. You know the hockey. Um, you know, so we have a lot of sports <laughs> stuff. Um, I talked to a hockey dad at a. Uh, it was actually at a funeral, but I talked to a, I talked to a hockey dad who was he was he was talking about he he's made a friend of mine who's who's uh, had a family member pass away uh some of the guy he he plays hockey he's in his 40s he plays hockey and and some of the guys from his hockey team were sitting at my table and I got I got just got talking to them and they were talking about their kids playing hockey and their kids playing hockey and they were talking about how expensive it was I was like, yeah what? hockey is really expensive like, sport. what like what's it what's it cost for your for your kid to play hockey year and he's like why well, last year cost me fourteen thousand dollars yeah forty thousand dollars for your kid to play hockey I was, yeah that's I mean, that's crazy I don't I couldn't I never added it up I don't even want to know um what it costs but every weekend's fifteen hundred bucks at least for a, what I mean, we, look, you got a hotel room. There's no hotel room. So a lot of them, they have what they call a stay to play. So, like, if you're going to Washington, or, yeah, Washington D.C., it's stay to play. and that, So now you have, it's a three-night, three you know, room at $300 or $300 a night. Um, your car is, like, you know, $75 a night to park it or, you know, whatever it is. Then you got, you know, food. You got all, you know, other stuff that you have. Wow. And then... Then following, you know, two weekends later on, you got to go to Boston. And it's like, oh, well, all right, a plane ticket, you know, is this much a year. Uh, you know, again, stay hotel. I don't have a car, so now I got an Uber everywhere. I got to go here. I got to go there. We're going, you know, this, so it just adds up and adds up. And it's like, wow. Do they win that anything for even, this? What's that? Do they win anything for this? Uh, no. I mean, they they, they get um, experiences. Like, like, there's, I, like, the club that she's in, there's a lot of girls that... Um, um, you know, moved on like somebody just went to um Yukon and then there was a man, uh, Rutgers. I forget, I think somebody else just went to Texas too. But I mean, they get full scholarships, you know, for oh, okay, for, right. for so college and stuff like that. So it's you know, it's um, like there's a light at the end, there's a, a goal, but like for like if they win anything, no, I I've oh, never okay. even seen a trophy for like you know, for <laughs> that, but. That's just one sport. You know, every, all, all these there's a million different sports that are out there that, that kids play, and the amount of money that is put into some of these sports complexes is insane. Like, I can't think of where town it's in, but it's a place called Spooky Nook. And if you look up Spooky Nook online, like, they charge you to park at this place, and it's, it's like Pennsylvania, isn't it? Yeah, it's like Allen, not Allentown, but somewhere. No, yeah, it's out. It's out like Lank, it's Lancaster, Lancaster, Lancaster yeah, County, or like, maybe York. Yeah, yeah, oh, I York, live, York. yeah, I used to live out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I know that place. Yeah, so we go there, and then there's oh, wow. other places like that that you're just like, oh my god, there's so much money in new sports because people will pay whatever it is for their wow. kids. And then, uh, you know, some... I don't know, I won't even say it because somebody will use it against me later. But, <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, it's interesting. But you're like, well, I don't know whatever happened to there's just like youth sports in town. Like, I don't know. Is that even a thing anymore? No, I just I just thought I had one friend that was like insane. It took his kid all over the place, and then I started talking to other parents, and they yeah, no, do, that's it. they all do the same thing. Yeah. So well, I guess I mean as as a as, hey as a kid I didn't travel a whole lot doing anything at all. So I guess that's I guess it's pretty cool. I yeah. Mean, for for kids, yeah, it's to, great to travel experience. with the family. So. Yeah. Uh, anything else going on? I got nothing. I'm spent. That's it. Yeah. It's been uh it's been a. Uh, been, it's been it's been a little while here updating podcast yeah. here. Well, it's good and, to get uh, back with you guys. Uh, hopefully, we'll be doing this a little bit more regularly. Um, 
excuse us on our little break we had, but we're back. Back on the regular back schedule. And better than ever. Uh, tell your friends, share it out, and uh, subscribe to the podcast, RestoreGT.com, for all the back episodes on our YouTube page at RestoreGLOTWP. At Restore GT on we'll Twitter. We'll put the links in the, in the description. The you know all this stuff. You, all know, right. you know where to find us. You found us this far, so yeah. share it out to your friends. Know where we are. We'll see you guys. See you guys.